Hello and welcome to Let's Play Transformers War for Cybertron. My name is Decepticon Rampage, and I will be your host through this journey through one of my personal favorite games, and is quite possibly one of the best Transformers games out there. Well, maybe its sequel will is little little bit better, but we'll let you be the judge. So this is my inaugural Let's Play. Uh, I say let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to be starting... With the... Okay, so we're going to start with the campaign. And... So, solo campaign. I'm just going to do an easy run on this. Just, you know, like I said, this is, this is the first Let's Play I've done, so kind of want to go, you know, start start easy. You don't want to show a whole lot of deaths or anything. So we're going to be starting with Chapter 1. Uh, actually, with this, you have the option to start with either Chapter 1 or Chapter 6, because you have Chapters 1 through 5 are the Decepticon campaign, where Chapters 6 through 10 are the Autobot campaign. I don't know about anybody else, but I I'm I'm all for the Decepticons. I think I think they're, you know, just more interesting for the most part. Okay, so on, episode, on chapter one here, we have a selection of Brawl, who is a soldier class, Megatron as leader class, and Barricade as a scout class. I personally prefer to play as Brawl. I'm, I've All the times I've played multiplayer, I've always liked playing as soldier the most. Um, and we'll, we'll get a chance to play as Megatron later on in the campaign, so we'll give him a rest for now. Unfortunately, this is the only the only chapter where Barricade and Brawl do do appear. So, but you know, like I said, I'm, I want to go with Brawl, so we're gonna go ahead and start there. Transformers for millions of years. Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, recently discovered an ancient power that will give him the edge to win over the hated Autobots. Called Dark Energon, this power remains locked away in an orbital station under the protection of a Sky Commander named Starscream. So that's the setup for this. Uh, this game actually does take place in the what's known as the aligned continuity, which is kind of the the new continuity where that kind of meshes a lot of different mediums together. It's like the official one from Hasbro at this point. Lord Megatron, you're certain it's here? I am certain, Barricade. And when I find it, the balance of this war with the Autobots will finally tip in my favor! Lord Megatron! Stabilizers are failing! Maintain your heading, Brawl! Do not falter! Sublight engines are offline! Shields at 15%! Reroute all power to bullet guns and thrusters! Full speed ahead! But sir, that's suicide! And that's why you don't mess with Megatron, so. Ram this warship straight into the heart of that station! Or if not mess with him, definitely don't question it. We're lucky to have survived that Megatron. Alright, let's get to it. One of the nice things is, yes, you can actually double jump in this game. With uh, the, a lot of the, the terrain is kind of designed around that in mind. So, one of the other reasons I like to play as Brawl in this mission is because he can dash, which is always a handy thing to be able to do. Not not all the classes have that ability, so. Definitely something handy to have. I am Starscream, and I have protected my 
my station for over a thousand years. I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. This space station is Decepticon property. Surrender immediately. Whoever you are, you've traveled a long way just to meet your doom. And first combat scenario. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's the extent of some turrets on the wall. I will say, having played through this game on the higher difficulty settings, uh, yeah, th those turrets are a pain. Definitely a, a big pain. Alright, so one, one thing obviously that you can do in a Transformers game is of course transform, which is activated simply by pressing in the left th thumbstick. Now, these boxes here are a handy little thing, because they are uh, ammo crates. And if you notice, oh actually, I, th I thought I had just seen a an extra weapon crate, but apparently not. Oh, I should probably, I should probably fight things, so... Yeah, for the most part, your AI teammates, they don't do a whole lot. I mean, for the most part, they're they're good for distracting some of the uh, more irritating enemies, I will say. And hey, our first actual enemies, which, you know, hey, awesome. Uh, one uh, for in when you're doing when you're actually combating enemies, you uh, you have the options, of course, of long range combat with a weapon. Uh, you have a vehicle mode weapon, depending on what you what depending on which class you're playing as determines what kind of weapon you have. Well, obviously, Brawl turns into a tank, so he has a fairly large cannon. Uh, it, it does have it does have a very very slow fire rate, but it packs a definite punch, which is always nice. And then you can also use a melee attack, which is activated by clicking in the right thumbstick. I always like that. It's fun. It's fun to just whip out like a giant mace or a sword or an axe or whatever, depending on who you're playing as, and just wreck house with it. Always fun. Definitely always fun. And I just realized I probably should have turned the subtitles on. Um, oh, here, here's another thing. In this game, there are also collectibles. Uh, it, if you're playing the Decepticon campaign, there are hidden Autobot symbols, and in the Autobot campaign, there are Decepticon symbols. I believe there are five per chapter, because I know there's 25 total. I, I don't know if they're evenly split or not, but here is our very first one. Right across there, just shoot it, and you'll get a little uh, achievement progress bar. I love the fact that games have those. It is always handy. Oh, and here is another weapon. Uh, all Transformers can carry two weapons. Uh, you just switch by pressing Y. You picked it up. And of course, this is a, mor a mortar cannon, so, you know, pretty awesome. Uh, and then once you've done that, then you just push the button again, and uh, it explodes, or actually push the left stick, and it does that. Hey, and we got an achievement! I love achievements. We, sh we should probably uh, check and see what that is. For anyone that's, uh, you know, curious about it. So, multi-kill three car soldiers at once use an explosive weapon in campaign or the escalation mode. So, very nice. Was not expecting to get that. I did not... I hadn't actually looked at the achievements. I know that there's some level-specific ones. I'm going to try to go over those. Uh, the other, you know, like... I just think, like, the level-specific achievements would be good to go over, but um, a lot of the other... You know, and I'll, I'll be getting the collectibles, but... Uh, I don't, I'm not going to make it like a full achievement guide or anything, but... Ah, oh, 
this is all, this is the other reason why I like playing on easy because I can just run up to guys and just hit them with melee. Saves on ammo that way because ammo can be very scarce in this game. Unfortunately, I, that, that's one thing. You know, if, if there was one thing I could change about these, it would be the fact that I hate that you run that you can run out of ammo. The, the game does a fairly good job of actually making sure that you have ammo available to you. So usually after like a big firefight, just the hit, perfect example right here. Yep, there is another ammo box. So Barricade was kind enough to just pop that right open for me. Always nice. Oh, and if you notice those little orbs that I'm picking up on a regular basis, those are actually tied in with your abilities. The, uh, my left bumper is just my, that's just the dash. That one just recharges by itself. But the one on the right, I will show you right here, is my one of my special abilities, which is the Whirlwind, which is something that the the soldier classes can uh, they have access to. And I, I will say it's also an awesome ability to have in multiplayer. That's a pretty long. All right. So here's here's one thing. This is another reason why. I uh, actually I think no no uh, I, I guess uh, Barricade doesn't. I don't think he has dash. He might have dash, but. Uh, that little box, it kind of looks like an energy, an, an energy, energon box, uh, is actually a shield box. So it will not only recharge your energon, but it will also give you a shield, uh, which is, just goes down as you take damage. But uh, it, it prevents you from actually losing health up until that point. And uh, I, I always love turrets. When, whenever there's a turret available, I'm, I'm always going to grab that. I, I love I love not having to waste my own ammo and why don't we have any more there they are okay I was like why am I not getting any more enemies they're taking forever there are a lot of them too this would not be a good thing to actually have to lose all your money freaking ammo And uh, also, while it's connected, it uh, isn't. It's it doesn't run out, which is which is always nice. Uh, another thing I can't, you know, as, as you can see on the on my HUD here, um, I am also a lot. I can also detach the turret, and I can just wield it and blow up stuff. Oh yeah, and that's actually an achievement as well. Uh, you, if you kill ten enemies with a detached turret. Uh, it also is an achievement, so I had, to I had totally forgotten about that. Maybe, maybe we'll actually get enough uh, enough Autobots that'll just pop in here and let me kill them. That would be that would be nice, you know. I still have 261 shots, so hopefully we'll run into some more Autobots that I can blow up. Always, always fun. Good. Oh, I, I see some more enemies, so that's always that's a good thing. All right, there's there's half of them, and there's number six. Uh, oh, don't tell me there's no more. Uh, come on, get up there. Come on, bro. There we go. Haha, <laughs> cheat the system. Two more. I think we can manage to get that achievement too. Haha. -ha. Like I said, achievements are awesome. I love achievements. Pull back, pull back. The area is secured, Megatron. Excellent. Oh, and we are actually coming up upon our level-specific achievement, which is to kill all of these prisoners, except for one. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't kill that guy.
I think that no, I think there might be some more up here. Aha, there's another there's another group over here. Die, Autobots! Ha ha! Well, maybe we better go check and make sure we didn't miss one. I'm pretty sure you have to leave one alive. I have just this one dude over here. Don't see any more Autobots in Energon binders. Might have missed one over here. It's possible. And... No, I don't see any more. No, these are all Decepticons. Okay. Well... I can't remember where the achievement actually pops, but that should be all of the... All the guys, and like I said, I'm pretty sure you have to leave one alive. So, I mean, if if that turns out to not be the case, I, I, I you know, if if I want to, I might go ahead and. Show oh, hey, there we go. Your lucky day. No mercy. Oh, Megatron's berating me for leaving one of them alive. Oh, hey, check it out. It's Jetfire. Not here to fight. That makes one of us. And let's see, it's probably Air Raid and Fire Flight, if I'm not mistaken. We, we, we might get to see them again later. I'm going to pause real quick and see if I can actually change the... Aha, there's the subtitles. Okay. I will go ahead and do that, so in case I need to talk over the uh, dialogue that's going on, at least you'll be able to read it. You kill us all. So, yeah, whatever. This dark energon stuff is worth it, Megatron. Oh man, look at my shield's almost like half done. Ugh. Oh well, whatever. And then we'll bring it into episode one of Let's Play Transformers War for Cybertron. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out my channel for episode two to be posted soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.